Welcome back to this edition of My Road to Thailand. Today I'm interviewing the founder and lead content creator of this YouTube channel, My Road to Thailand. Steven says he has some exciting news concerning his updates. Let's get into it, shall we? First, welcome here. Thanks for the invitation. Sure thing. My channel story started off with zero direction almost 10 years ago. I only updated a couple of videos in the earlier years not knowing about monetization or earning on YouTube or anything even remotely close to that. And even when I got wind of the fact that a content creator could possibly earn a little bit of money or even a lot of money, I didn't think I had any value to add. So like many people that have channels, you just watched and commented on those that stirred up a reaction inside of you? Yes, that's exactly correct. So what changed? It's a long story, but I'll try to make it brief. Around 2016, I was planning my first trip to Thailand. It would be the second time I actually left North America. When was the first trip away from North America? And how did that play out, if you don't mind me asking? On that first time I left North America, I took my middle daughter to the UK, I believe in 2015. So what's the big announcement? Yes, thank you. About a week ago, I uploaded a video to explain the who and the why concerning the channels I chose to do shoutouts for on my channel. You mean like shouting out to other content creators? Yes, exactly. I said in that video I was linking to other channels that had under a thousand subscribers, hoping to possibly give them a bump, even though I have around 200 subscribers myself. You know, it's just a matter of one person helping Did another. Did they need to be subscribed to your channel? No. Although some of them are, it's mostly channels I enjoy. I was inspired to do this from one of the channels I follow. It was a young lady. I saw her doing shoutouts, and I thought that was fantastic. So I borrowed that idea. So how's it going so far? Honestly, with the small number of subscribers that I have, I cannot be certain if it's having an impact at all. Instead of limiting the shout outs to the channels with under a thousand followers. Starting with this video, I will not discriminate based on numbers. If I enjoy a channel, I'm going to give them a shout out. And why not? They may have thousands of subscribers and a video or two that's gone viral, but not everyone has seen it. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, what do you get out of it? I mean, actually, you're inviting yes, viewers I totally of get your that. channel to leave and go look at someone else's content. So I just thought I'd ask those channels I link to if they are subscribed to my channel or not, if or when they watch the video that I've linked their channel to, they will notice that they are not the only ones I gave a shout out to. And if they would give me the courtesy and click on one of those other shout out channels and simply send them a message telling them that they came there through my channel, My Road to China, My Road to Thailand. Sounds like a win win. Exactly what I was hoping you would say. And there you have it, folks. Subscribe, like, and share this video, and who knows, one day your channel will be linked to My Road to Thailand. Thanks for watching and commenting, and be well. Swati Kap. Goodbye from Thailand. See you next time. Thanks again for having me. Bye for now.